Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today we're going to be unboxing the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus for November 2021. Please do not mind my really, really gross hair color right now. Normally I would have put a wig on, but I just got back from work and I didn't feel like it. So, yeah, <laughs> I am transitioning my hair from the last color to whatever I decide to do next, or I might just try to do a bright yellow. I don't know. I haven't decided. So, anyways, also if you hear like random meowing noises in the background, I'm sorry. I got new foster kittens that are here for a couple weeks because I got some medical stuff going on and they're in a little playpen behind me to keep them away from my other cat who was a failed foster. And he's not a huge fan of other animals in his territory. <laughs> Plus, like I said, these two are sick and they've got some stuff going on, so they gotta be quarantined. So, I'm sorry <laughs> if they're loud in the background, I apologize. Um, anyways, yeah, let's see what we got this month. So, the first product in here looks like it is not in the bag. You do get to choose three of your products in the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. I never remember which three I chose until I go look because it's like a month before we actually get them, so I never remember. I think this might have been one of the ones I chose. It's like lashes. It came with a little lash glue. Oh, those are super cute. So three different pairs of lashes. I like these ones and these ones the best. <laughs> I like dramatic lashes. I'm sure you wouldn't have guessed by looking at me that I like dramatic things. Definitely excited for these, that is awesome. Okay, and the second product in here is also not in the bag. And it is by Hip Dot. That is super pretty packaging. In the shade Witchy Warms. I love that. It's like raised a little bit, all the gold parts, so it looks like embossed. I think it's out. They're gonna make me ruin it. It like won't come out. Luckily, the inner packaging is also cute since I had to destroy the outer packaging to get the inner one out. So that is unfortunate. But, oh, that's pretty. I usually, like, I'm really bored by, like, neutral palettes just because I don't. I mean, I use them, but I just feel like so many palettes are neutral that I just get, I get bored. But this is super cute with like all the little designs on the eyeshadows and it's got some pretty shimmers in there. I like this. Let's see if we can swatch. Right, so here's the first four. They seem very pigmented. So that is always good. I never really know where to swatch these. These are nice. Those are like, they go on really smooth. I've gotten like a few like hip dot like the little single shadows. I don't, I don't use the single shadows like a whole ton, um, so I can't say that I've like used them a lot. But if their formula is anything like this one, I probably should have because this is a pretty, a really nice formula. These go on so nice. I am like legitimately impressed by this, honestly. I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes and a lot of them don't perform this nicely. I mean, those aren't patchy at all. The shimmers are very, very smooth, very buttery. Um, yeah, so I don't think I picked this. I think this is one of the ones that was picked for me, but I'm, I'm legitimately very happy to have gotten this because this is not something that I would have chosen on my own. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm super happy that this was picked for me, so. Good job, Ipsy. <laughs> All right. I'm take the bag out now. This is what the bag looks like this month. I'm gonna be honest, not, not a super big fan of the bag. I don't, this actually already feels like it's kind of coming off. It's like an applique kind of situation. Um, I don't really like the, the base bags this month either, but. They're allowed to have a one-off. Okay, 
so the third product in here is the Violet Voss Essentials 2 palette. I believe this is the one that I chose. Okay. So pretty. Here's what the shades look like in there. Let's uh, swatch these too. So the first four. Should I swatch these in my other hand? Alright, so if I'm being honest, I already not as impressed. <laughs> I do, like, I have some Violet Boss palettes, and like, some of them I like, and some of them I don't, and, you know, some of them are just, eh. I'm just, her, her pig, or her, um, her formula's kind of hit or miss for me. And you can already see that it's just, it's not anywhere near as pigmented. And I'm kind of like going over these a couple times where like the other ones, I just one swipe. There's the last two. I just, like it's not bad, but like this blue is so bright and it could be like gorgeous, but I just feel like it's not as pigmented. I don't know. I probably would like this palette a lot better if I hadn't done the other one first. Like the other one surprised me like so much that this one just doesn't feel as good. I do, I know that her, her pigments are pretty buildable though. Yeah. So I mean, if you work at them, you can definitely get a brighter color. So anyways, those are the two palettes. They are both pretty. I do. I like these two little pink shades, and I like this one. That one's really pretty. Um, the gold is pretty. But this one, just universally, every one of the shades was nice, smooth, buttery, pigmented, not patchy. So, yeah. I would have been happier with this if I hadn't opened this one first. But both nice eyeshadow palettes, I'm sure I will use them both. Okay. So, I am massively slacking this week. Royal Treatment this bag, this box today. Oh my god. <sighs> yeah, royal treatment is the theme. Um, I should have said that several products ago, but that's what it is. Okay, so the next product in here is by Able Skincare London, and it's their Ultra Plus Collagen Eye Rescue Therapy. And I know this product is fairly expensive because we got this in a different subscription fairly recently. Um, I think it was like 60 something dollars. I'll have to look. We don't, you don't get product information and like prices on the Ipsy Pluses ever, which I think is kind of dumb, <laughs> but what can you do? Um, so I'm going to grab my laptop when I'm done with this and just kind of like price it out real quick. Um, this says apply in the morning and evening onto clean, dry skin around the eye area. So, yeah, we'll definitely use this. I'm going to have to look and see if I have this exact one or... Actually, it might have been symbiosis. I don't know. Hold on. It's going to bother me. Okay. So, I'm not crazy, but they are not the same. Um, I do have two of the Able Skin Pairs. The other one is a 3-in-1 Glycolic Acid Molecular Boost Eye Serum. This was the one that came in whatever my other box was. And then the Ultra Collagen Eye Risk Therapy is the one that came in this box. So they are different. And I will try them out. Okay, so the last product in here this month is by Thrive Cosmetics. Cause. Probably not gonna focus. I need to get a better camera. Um, Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara with Orchid Stem Cell Complex. I have never heard of this. Um, but I do wear a lot of mascara, so. <laughs> it's pretty packaging. It's also very heavy. So this is what the wand looks like. Please don't mind the glitter on my hand from me doing glitter on my eyeballs. I, yeah, okay. So <laughs> that's what it looks like. I do generally like like a fluffier brush but sometimes these littler ones are easier to get like on the base of your eyeball so yeah 
definitely, definitely excited to try this out. It says Flake 3 Tubing Technology. Yep. So that is awesome. I'm gonna grab my laptop really quick and I'm gonna just see if I can get prices for some of this stuff because I like to know what the value is, you know? <laughs> One second. <laughs> I need a better chair. I need a better filming situation. This is just, this is not ideal. Okay, so I pulled up the prices on some of this stuff and the Winsome Eyelashes and Glue is $34.90. The, the Thrive Cosmetics, um, whatever this product is, mascara, yeah, um, it's $24. The Violet Voss Essentials 2 palette is $36. This, this, this little teensy tiny little squeezy tube is $116. $116. And then this um, Hip Dot Witchy Warms palette is $22. And I also looked, the two products that were chosen for me were these two, and then the other three were ones that I chose. So again, I think I think this is my favorite product that I got in the entire box, so for me to say that a neutrals palette was my favorite is saying something, because I'm usually bored by the palettes like this, and I, I love this palette. This is amazing. I've smeared it all over the place, but this is like very, like, super worth it. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, so the overall value for that box total was $232.90, which is a very good value. Okay, so $28 was the full price of this bag. So for $28 to get a 200 and what did I just say? $232 value is great. <laughs> it's like a $200 up from, from what you got. Uh, but yeah, overall, very happy with this one's box. Ipsy's been kind of, um, Ipsy's been kind of hit or miss for me lately, and I think this was actually like a really good one. Um, I will definitely use every product in here. There's some like new brands that are that are something I've never tried before. You know these guys. Um, and there's some other brands that I've gotten other products from before, but they're still like a new product. So yeah, I'm super happy with this box this month, and hopefully next month will be good also. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and for spending a little bit of your time with me, and hopefully I'll see you again next time. Thanks.